Hey everybody, it's the Doctor of Comedy. I wanted to make a video just to share with everybody a survey that I had sent out on SurveyMonkey about the working conditions in retail pharmacy. Now I thought maybe only 100 people would respond, but I had almost 700 responses. And about 300 people um, actually typed out responses about the terrible working conditions in retail pharmacy. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of briefly go over the survey, briefly go over some of the survey responses. I won't go over the whole survey. Um, I'll have the link in the description below. So if you want to take the survey, if you want to just read the survey results, um, and if you want to read the survey results, um, the free responses, I have that too. Just so many people responded that I had to copy and paste it to a Word document, so I have a link for that. So if you want to check out all three of those links, that will be in the description section below. Um, I've sent this to two reporters that I know, and I've sent it to a couple board of pharmacies. Looking back at it, I wish I would have made it more state-specific um, so that I could say, like, hey, this is what's going on in this particular state. So if you do decide to fill out the survey, maybe state what state you're in. But I just wanted to share um, this video with you guys and I'm trying to sp spread it to as many people as possible. To hopefully one day we'll get better working conditions in retail pharmacy. So I'm going to go over just two or three survey questions. Um, if you want to fill out the survey, I'll put the link in the description below. If you want to just see the survey um, comments, I will have that in the description section below. And I'm also going to have the the survey responses where people could free write text and give their opinions about retail pharmacy working conditions. I'll have that in a separate link. It's just that so many people responded. There were so many responses uh, that were hand well, not handwritten, but typed out that I had to copy and paste them to a Word document. So I do have a link for that so you can go and read through those. Um, but uh, one of the questions was, do you feel like your pharmacy is appropriately staffed for the workload? 93.49% said no. So for most of us, you know, that's not surprising, but we're just trying to get this out to other people so they can understand just how understaffed we are in the pharmacy. I have sent this to uh, one or two boards of pharmacy as well as two or three reporters that I know and that reach out to me from time to time. Um, looking back, I wish I would have did this um, maybe by state. That way it would have been a lot more effective if I could say, hey, you know, for this particular state, if you send it to their board of pharmacy, this is what's going on in, in the retail pharmacies in your state, it would have been a little bit more helpful. So I guess if some of you are going to fill it out and if you're okay, um, say what state that you're in. Um, but uh, look, maybe, you know, in the future, if someone else wants to do a survey or if enough people want to do the survey, we, we redo it state by state. That way, when you send it to the board of pharmacy, they can see what's really going on in their state. Okay, another question I asked, if no, do you think management corporate is aware of the issue and is actively trying to fix it? 94.15% uh, said that corporate is aware and they are not trying to fix the understaffing, which is sad. Another question that I asked, have you ever experienced depression slash anxiety issues due to the terrible working conditions in retail pharmacy? 93.96% of people said yes. Now that's that's terrible. You know, people who work in the pharmacy, these are people who are dedicated their lives to wanting to improve the health of other people. Like if, if you decide to do an occupation where you're giving back, where you're trying to help people improve their lives, there's no way that you should have to deal with depression and anxiety due to your job you know that should be one of the best jobs to have it should be a rewarding job you know and the fact that almost the fact that 93.96 percent of people have depression or anxiety from working retail that says a lot because pharmacy should not be that stressful that's just ridiculous now i'm gonna go and show you guys some of the um 
survey responses where people wrote comments. I'm not going to read them out. I'm just going to let them kind of just play on the screen. And um, you can just read them if you want to read all of them. Like I said, I have the link in the description below. I'm just trying to get as many people to take the survey and many people to like this video, to share it. Um, I know sometimes it seems like retail pharmacy has been terrible for so long, but you know, I'm just trying to do my part to improve retail pharmacy. So hopefully I can leave pharmacy better, a better place and a better place than where I found it. So um, like I said, every comment helps. Um, so if you please take the survey or at least just um, look at the survey and, and, and share the video or like it. All right, everybody, that's the doctor of comedy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And don't forget, subscribe. Bye-bye.